The MACD is a popular trend-following indicator based on moving averages and at the same time ideal to act as an additional momentum filter for your trading. In this video I will explain what are the best MACD signals, how you should read MACD to analyze price and how to use it in a trading strategy. First, before we analyze the signals, let's take a look at the individual components of the MACD indicator. We have the MACD line, representing the heart of the indicator, and by default is the difference between the 12 period EMA and the 26 period EMA. This means that the MACD line is basically a complete moving average crossover system by itself. Then we have the signal line, which is the 9 period EMA of the MACD line, and the MACD histogram, the difference between the MACD line and the signal line. Now let's analyze the best 10 MACD signals, one by one. Number 1. New high or low of the MACD line One of the simplest ways to use the MACD as a momentum indicator is to look for MACD line to make a significant new high or low and then to enter the pullback following the new momentum extreme. One minor complication is that the MACD is an unbounded indicator, so it's not possible to set fixed reference levels. In practice, it's enough to use rough intuitive guidelines by comparing the indicator to its own recent history. The momentum pop on the MACD line is just a visual representation of information that is already in price bars, but it can be a useful confirmation in some situations. In this example, at point A, the market made a strong move down, which also pushed the MACD line to a new significant low relative to its recent history. After an extended consolidation, the market made a new low into the point marked B, at which time the MACD again made a lower low. When the swings in price and the swings in MACD are showing the same thing, you can expect a trend continuation. Number 2. The MACD line crossing the zero level Besides the MACD, I also plotted two moving averages on the charts, the 12 and the 26 EMA, to show you how the MACD works. When the two EMAs cross, the MACD line crosses above and below zero as well. As I said before, the MACD is basically its own moving average crossover system in just one line. A crossover of two moving averages can show a change in momentum and it can often foreshadow the creation of a new trending move. Of course, it goes without saying, you don't trade every time the line crosses the level, you must consider other elements like price action and key support and resistance levels. Number 3. MACD Line Divergence If the best pullbacks are preceded by the MACD fast line making a significant new high or low in the case of a downtrend, then it follows logically that pullbacks that are not set up by a new high or low on the MACD are less likely to have good continuation. This is the concept of momentum divergence. A market makes a new high in prices that is not followed by a new high on the indicator and vice versa to the downside. In this case, the momentum divergence would suggest that the dominant group in the market may be losing its power and that a reversal is more likely than continuation. Be careful with the location of divergences. In this example, at least three momentum divergences were set up against this extended trend, all of which failed. This is in fact one working definition of a trend, just as a trend breaks support or resistance, trends will also roll over momentum divergences. In the context of a strong trend, traders using MACD line divergences during impulsive moves to set up counter trend positions will record steady losses, so it's better to avoid those trades and focus on divergences that occur after pullbacks.
Number 4. Overextended MACD line. Extreme highs in price will be followed by sell-offs and vice versa. A trading strategy that consistently buys at extreme highs and sells at extreme lows is likely to be painful. So a simple MACD-based rule can help us to avoid many of these situations. The rule is very simply to try to avoid buying when the MACD line is extended into highs and try to avoid selling when it's extended into low territory. When the MACD line is dramatically extended to the upside, it could indicate that the move is already overdone and potentially primed for a small reversal. Though it's difficult to quantify this tendency into a precise set of rules, your results will improve with the addition of this rule that prevents you from buying when the MACD line is extended to the upside or shorting when it's extended to the downside. Number 5. Inability of the MACD line to go back to the zero level. One very important point overlooked by many traders is the MACD ability to go into overbought territory as evidence of real strength in the market or the reverse for oversold readings. Though the MACD doesn't have overbought or oversold levels, many traders will initially be inclined to fade extreme moves on indicator. This is natural, especially for traders who have some familiarity with stochastic or RSI, but it's important to realize that one of the common patterns of the MACD is that the MACD line will go into overbought territory in a strong trend and stay there for an extended period of time. The inability of the fast MACD line to back off is a reflection of the conviction behind the price movement and shouldn't be taken as an indication to start looking for counter trend positions. In this example, a very strong uptrend puts the MACD fast line in potentially overextended territory and it stays there for quite a long period of time. One easy way to avoid fading markets in situations like this is to look for MACD divergences only after the MACD line touches or comes near the zero line. If there are no swings and the market is simply in a strong extended push, the fast line of the MACD confirms the dominant force in the market. Number 6. MACD line hook. A turn in the MACD fast line can often be the first indication of emerging momentum, especially when the market is at an inflection point. This signal is not so effective on lower time frames, but on higher time frames you can spot decent swing points on your charts. This signal works best in combination with support and resistance. Support and resistance levels are widely used among traders to determine the points of a trend reversal. However, they are not saying much about the direction of this reversal, and this is why it's a good idea to use the MACD. A MACD line hook appearing at a key level represents a good confirmation that momentum is changing. Number 7. Slope of the signal line At first glance, the slow line appears to have less noise and fewer false moves than the fast line, but this is just a reflection of the smoothing and lag of the slow line, which also will miss many signals that appear on the fast line. In general, it's probably best to be suspicious of trades that set up against the slope of the slow signal line if the slow line has been extended and has turned back toward the zero line. In this example, traders initiating long positions after the slow line turned down would have been frustrated as the market entered a more extended period of consolidation. So start paying attention to the slope of the signal line as a filter to close your current position 
when it starts to turn around or to stay away from entering against the dominant market direction. Number 8. Position of the signal line relative to the zero level. Since the signal line is an average of the MACD line, for the signal line to be far above zero, the fast line must have spent a longer time above the zero line. The only way for the fast line to get far above zero and to stay there is for the market to have made an extended move to the upside. In this context, the position of the slow line is not very useful. On the other hand, this agreement between the fast and the slow lines can highlight or confirm pullbacks in prices. For instance, if the slow line is extended above zero, but the fast line pulls back below the zero line, it often makes sense to be on the lookout for long entries. The reverse setup applies for short trades. Number 9. MACD histogram increasing or decreasing in height. The MACD histogram is simply the difference between the MACD line and the MACD signal line. When the MACD histogram is shrinking in height, there is a change in direction or slowdown in price. When this occurs, the MACD line is getting closer to the MACD signal line. The MACD histogram is increasing in height either in the positive or negative direction because the MACD line is accelerating away from the MACD signal line. Basically, when price is moving strongly in a direction, the MACD histogram will increase in height. When the MACD histogram doesn't increase in height or begins to shrink, the market is slowing down and might be a warning of a possible reversal. Number 10. MACD Histogram Divergence When traders speak of divergence, they are referring to how price action and momentum are not fully aligned, as they are diverging away from each other. What traders would like to see is momentum confirming price action by moving in tandem with it. If momentum and price diverge, it shows that momentum is weakening. And if momentum is weakening, it raises the potential for a retracement against a trend or a trend reversal. A bullish divergence happens when price makes a lower low, but the MACD histogram makes a higher low. This signals that the downtrend in price is losing momentum, as the selling pressure eases with each downswing, which could indicate a reversal. A bearish MACD divergence happens when the price makes a higher high, but the MACD histogram makes a lower high. This indicates that while the price is still in an uptrend, the momentum in the upswings has diminished. Remember. As a timing tool on its own, a MACD histogram divergence can be unreliable. For this reason, price action must confirm the divergence before you can be more confident that a correction or reversal is indeed taking place. As always, if you learned something new and found value, leave us a like to show support, subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon to stay notified when we upload new videos. Until next time.